American John Boy, who does a lot of cricket analysis on Twitter, trying to get Americans to understand the game. He's going to have a field day with that one. Yes, they are on to us. They are aware that we are aware. I'm talking about cricket. So we have the scoreboard. I'm going to go over it again. The ending to this game was so exciting. Again, this means runs. 100 runs, and they've gotten out six times. So six wickets, six outs. Once there are 10 of these, the inning is over, and they cannot score any more runs. Or once 20 overs are thrown. An over is a set of six balls. That's the most important thing you have to remember. An over is a set of six balls. The game is broken up into multiple overs. In this version, there can only be 20, and they have already thrown 19. So there is one over left. Six more balls left. The Northern Brave need eight more runs from the six balls. That's pretty easy. They should be able to get that. They should be looking dandy and primed to win and beat their opponents. The first pitch of the ball is hit skied up into the air, going for six, and it's taken for a wicket. That's how they say that, and they don't say caught for the out. They say taken for the wicket, and he's going for over the boundary, because that's an automatic six runs, and that kind of guarantees victory because they need eight from the next six balls. But he falls just short. We would say warning track power. Now, this guy looks back to find the boundary, make sure his feet doesn't hit it because they can't do that. Takes the wicket. That's one. So you see out of the six balls that are left, first one, wicket. The updated scoreboard now is going to say seven outs and 19.1 overs. And now they need eight more runs from five balls. Also, that batter is out of the game, and a new batter named Bolt has come in. And we're at the back end of the batting order, so these are actually a bunch of bowlers, a bunch of pitchers who are, their first skill isn't hitting, their first skill is pitching or bowling. So Bolt comes in, but he's not up, that's Bolt. His partner is up. And he's pretty fresh. He's only seen one ball in parentheses right here. He's only seen one ball. He got two runs off of it. So now he's going to see his second ball and the second ball of the over. And that is hit straight up into the air. And that's going to be taken for a wicket. And now, oh, no, are we really going to blow this? That is what the fans are thinking because they were primed to win That ball is caught, and now the first two balls of the over have gone for wicket, so the hat trick is in order, and that's a very exciting play. Now there's 19.2, and now there's eight outs, okay? And now a new batter comes in, Walker. So now you have two batsmen that haven't seen a pitch. They're fresh. They're tail enders. Here's the hat trick ball, not out. That's put into play. The two batsmen run across the wicket once, so they get one run and now there's three balls left in the game and the northern brave needs seven more runs from three balls so let's see if they can do it jay walker the first pitch that he sees is hit right into the hands of the defender holy shit this is bad for us taken for another wicket so now they got three wickets in the last over which is crazy They had the easiest chance to win, and now they only have two balls left. That is not good. Two balls left. They're rubbing their heads. Seven more runs from two balls. Oh, boy. And Clark comes in, and he pokes that one, and they're going to run across once. Both runners have to reach the other side for the run to count. And now it is as crazy as it can get. They have one ball left. They need six more runs from one ball. If you hit it over the boundary, it's an automatic six. So it's pretty obvious what has to happen here. Trevor Bolt is not a batsman traditionally. He is a bowler. He's a pitcher. So this is not his primary skill set. And basically, the pitcher has to throw this ball. The bowler has to bowl this ball. The batter has to swing as hard as he can. This is basically like the last pitch in a home run derby for the U.S. Now, a lot of people are probably asking, why doesn't the pitcher just throw an unhittable ball? Well, if he throws it and it's deemed too wide, the umpire will say wide, the batsman will automatically get one run 
and then they'll have to throw another ball. So you get penalized if it's not a hittable pitch, so to speak. So here you go. The last ball, and bam, clobbers it for the six, for the walk-off win, the only way they could have won, and they did. They get it. They almost blew it, and then they come back, and that's so sweet. Look at this hug. Oh, man. That's what cricket does. Just produces a lot of hugs, a lot of really good hugs. The Northern Brave almost blow it. They don't. They win it. Amazing. That's a wild finish. That's the one of the more exciting ones I've seen from the domestic New Zealand Cricket League. And he's barely celebrating, but he's like, so this guy's like, oh, shit. Northern Brave win, and it was drama-filled cricket. Get into T20. This is on ESPN Plus if you want to watch. But it's pretty fun. They last as long as baseball games, and uh, they're high drama. And there's a lot of strategy once you understand how to read the scoreboard. Listen to the call of this. Last ball. Nuttle to bolt. Six required. Go! Oh! 